Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Antimatter Chemistry. I cannot figure out how to undo this thing. I keep going through here and figuring out different tasks. I've got all these different tasks in here, but I can't find one that says, like, no task at all, nothing. So I just went ahead and picked hang glider because I really want a hang glider. <laughs> no promises we're going to get a hang glider made in this episode, but I really, really want one. So I made a run through the nether and got a bunch of different stuff. I managed to get 20 loot crates and I got this rare loot crate and figured I would open that on camera because that would be really cool to see. Got some rotten flesh, got some different things and um, added a few more things to our, our checklist. Got some new stuff down here. All these things came from, uh, let's see, let's kind of go through and see what I got. So I ran some soul sand, gravel, and magma blocks, uh, glowstone dust, some nether quartz, flint. I got this graves dust from killing one of the zombie pigs. It, it won't go in there, in that machine, so it doesn't give me anything. And then I ran the two different mushrooms through, and they gave me some different stuff as well. But let's go ahead and go first here and accept our different uh, tasks that we've done. So the zombie pigmen loot, we don't get any rewards for that. I guess the reward is in killing the zombie pigs. <laughs> Gathering up souls. Okay, we got that one. And we got a lava bucket, which is going to give us some more netherrack. Scoop up the lava. Now this is cool. I just started noticing this. Y'all probably notice this by looking at the different uh, episodes going on. Now my phone's going to start going crazy. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> right when I start recording. But yeah, we're going to be able to make cobblestone generators. So that's going to be awesome because having a lot of cobble uh, is going to be nice because we can make some different elements from cobble. I looked around for about 20 minutes. I could not find a nether fortress. And so I'm starting to wonder, are we going to have to craft nether wart or find something that will let us craft nether wart. Now, essence of animals make a protein. Let's see here. I'm almost certain that I've... Yeah, I dumped a bunch of... Um, I think it's this. There we go. How many did we need? Eight? Okay, there we go. Just keep going until the... Uh, whoa, task completed two times protein and... Oh, wait, there's two of them? Well, what's the other one? Essence of animals... So we did that. Reward collected. We got we got one more protein out of it. Or no, we got... I didn't even see how much it was. What is this? Oh, we had to get protein for this, and then we have to get string. I think I bookmarked string already. Did I unbookmark it by doing that? No, we got it right there. Okay. And what else was there? So we're halfway with that. We've got the lava bucket. So we've got green antimatter, nether warts, and a hang glider we're trying to figure out. So let's see. Green antimatter... Craft a stack of green antimatter. Ru rubidium can be acquired from loot crates from killing mobs. So we're going to need eight rubidium, it looks like, to make a stack of that. And that's going to give us four more loot crates. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get everything off of the, off the toolbar. Let's open up this rare first. No, you know what? Let's save it for last. <laughs> Piggy, you don't know how to do loot crate unboxing and stuff, do you? So let's see here. We get sulfur and zinc, nitrogen and rubidium, sulfur and oxygen, rubidium. I think rubidium was what we were really needing, right? Ooh, magnesium sulfate. I don't know if I've gotten that yet. Sulfur and rubidium and just rubidium. Caffeine, that's a new one. Potassium, nice. There's lots of rubidium in here. This is awesome. Nitrogen, I think that's new. Okay, we've got white antimatter everywhere. Rubidium, sulfur, magnesium, caffeine, caffeine rubidium, caffeine. <laughs> awesome. So I think we're going to have enough rubidium here, so that's good. And then we'll get to find out what running um, the green antimatter through looks like. So let's see here. I think it's eight. Let's double check before we... Well, no, if we surround this, it should tell us, right? Green antimatter. There we go. Nice. Um, so let's get all this off the hot bar. Let's get that there. We'll check that epic loot box here in just a second. So we got that. Ooh, we get four more. See, we had to open those loot crates first. 
So y'all y'all thought Piggy was trolling you, but he's not. But he was. <laughs> okay, so Telerium. We need 16 of those, and we'll get Netherrack. So I'm going to A for bookmark. Let's see. How do you make Telerium? In a chemical dissolver from green antimatter. Okay. So let's just go ahead and dump the green. Oh, wait. What did it say? Rubidium. We have 50% chance of getting rubidium and tungsten. So basically the rubidium we just got, we're going to like make a whole lot more there. We just surpassed it. So here again, uh, wait, is rubidium already something we have? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so it sorts through one at a time. Where did it go? Where's the rubidium then? That's really odd. Hmm. Oh, it's right there. Hello, Piggy. How are you doing? So I'll double click that and that's going to go ahead and clear whatever we've got in our... Okay, so nitrogen. We've got a ton of oxygen. So much we can breathe it. Magnesium sulfate and caffeine. So that's carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Magnesium, sodium, or sulfur and oxygen, and then nitrogen. Okay, so let's see what's in these. Carbon and zinc. Hasium, that, that's new. Rubidium, we've got that. Rubidium's old hat. Okay, so let's move all this off and let's see what's in the epic. Storage upgrade increases storage to two times base value. Awesome. Now to figure out where to put it. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh-oh, I didn't want to put both of them in. Wait, I thought I had two. Oh, cool. It's going to, to increase for all four of the drawers. That's awesome. Increases it to two times base value. So let's go ahead. I don't know how much of this hydrogen we can get to go in there. Most of it. That'll work. We'll just dump that back in there. I, the thing is, I made a whole bunch of sucrose, and then from sucrose, you get a whole bunch of carbon, oxygen. Look at this. It's just going to keep growing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like weeds. So let's get that out of there. Okay, so we have got protein we made. We've made iron ingots and obsidian. Let's make this furnace generator. I finally got enough materials gathered up to make the furnace generator it's all that stuff right there i believe so so let's do this we'll make the machine block that'll give us four that's awesome and then two yeah one two there we go so let's where's the book get the book on the hot bar piggy so let's go ahead and claim that that will get us item ducks and servos so we can start moving stuff around wooden energy Craft two furnace generators. And this culinary generator. There we go. I'm like clicking it. It won't go on the, the hot bar. We'll get you out of there. We're going to do that. Furnace generator. I'm going to presume it takes... Okay, let's see if it'll take coal. Do you take coal? Yes, you do. A speed upgrade would make make life so much better, but I don't know if we can make speed upgrades right now. Okay, that's powering up. Oh, that's the different recipes. That's right. What? No, we can put more than carpets in there. We'll go ahead and start letting that run. Let's see here. Um, What was I just trying to do? I was looking at this. Speed upgrades. That's what it is. So let's check here real quick. Speed upgrades it's gonna be probably this upgrade speed magical ultimate what do we need for that gold ingot block of redstone those two i know i can get an upgrade base is from a weighted weighted pressure plate and if i add that speed upgrade basically it's going to convert this to power quicker but at the same time, oh, get that out of there. At the same time, I don't feel like these are overpowering that right now. So we might do that later. Okay. Oh, we're running out of food. We need food, Piggy. Squat. Come on, you. There you go. One more. Just one more. We need some apples. Nice. 
I love this vein miner. I tell you, I tell you. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like that though. I don't like how that gets stuck up there. Um let's just go ahead and plant some more saplings. I'll I'll mess with those later. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's get our quest book going. We want to make string, nether warts, and a hang glider. So with string, let's see, what was it with string I was looking at? From a chemical combiner, two proteins will make four string. And how many do we need for this quest? Four. So two proteins. So let's do chemical combiner string. Let's go ahead and set that uh, recipe up. And then we need two protein. Not the shake, just the protein that goes in the shake. Uh-oh, we didn't want to do that. Get that caffeine out of there. One, two. And away we go. Whoop. Nice. String another. Oh, no. I don't know why that went in there. Oh, because I broke it and it went in the hopper, right? Okay, so let's sort our technology for now. We'll go in here. I know everybody's just throwing a pit. A fit. Not a fit. A pit. <laughs> a fit bit. That's what it is. Everybody's having a fit because Piggy is taking his cool machines and stuff that he got and he's just storing it away. Well, as soon as I think of a reason to use this stuff, I'm definitely going to set it up. Don't you worry, none. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got this string. Let's go ahead and click that. That'll give us four levels for why we know not. Fishing rod. Create a fishing rod. Cactus juice. Okay. So here's what I was looking at to make nether wart because I was looking forever for it and couldn't find it. I found red mushrooms. There's this stuff. Hellish matter. Hold shift to consume an entire stack. Why would you eat it? Can be consumed for... Oh, for experience. Okay. So that's made by combining four of these things with netherrack. So these are overworldian matter. And that comes from a thing called a simulation chamber. So we don't have that. So let's back up. A chemical combiner. We've got cellulose. I don't have germanium or sel selenium. So germanium comes from, we can do that with netherrack. Wait, if we cook netherrack, we get a nether brick. We can get 5.56 from there or three. So we up our chances if we cook the netherrack first. See, that's silly because it takes four nether bricks to make a nether brick block, but your 5.56 stays, actually, if you look between the two, oh, you get four rolls. Okay, that makes a little more sense. What is this stuff? Germanium ingot, haven't seen any blazes, and then nether wart, which is what we're trying to make, and then a nether wart block, light blue antimatter. Huh, let's check that out. How do we make that? Niobium. Where does that come from? Wait, what is that? Porphyry? Smooth porf... Porf... Porphyry? I think that's how you say it. Porphyry blocks, which I guess is something you would find in the nether or maybe in another dimension. But I haven't seen that. So we're not going to be able to make the light blue antimatter. So let's remove that from our bookmark. And back up. So it looks like nether rack cooked nether rack is going to give us a chance to get germanium so let's see here i've got a stack of nether rack let's go ahead and get that a cooking while that's going let's look at the other ingredient germanium and selenium selenium comes from it can come from fish uh, selenium ingot, nether wart, of course, and nether wart block. So it looks like fish is the only way we're going to be able to get it now. So we will need to craft a fishing rod. So let's see here. I think I've got enough materials. We can go ahead and make the fishing rod. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but I'm still going to make that fishing rod, I tell you. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Let's see here. Go ahead and put... 
these sticks back so I don't lose them. And what did we get for getting the fishing rod? Cactus juice. Yummy, tasty cactus juice. That's very tasty. Ooh, what did that do? <laughs> I'm holding it weird in my hand. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten a fishing rod. That's going to help us get... Oh, look. That is weird. You have to get the fish to get the selenium, but you need the selenium to go back here and make this. So it's almost like they should have made this path. They should have made this path. And after the selenium should have been the nether warts. I don't know how you set these things up. That would that might have been a better uh, way to set that up. But whatever, we figured it out, right? Tellurium. What did we say tellurium comes from? A chemical dissolver? Green antimatter? Didn't we run green antimatter through there? Then we should have tellurium, right? Oh, look. Hello, Piggy. You've got an accomplishment waiting for you right there. Did we not get enough? Oh, we did. Awesome. Ooh, and a loot crate. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. 16 tellurium. How many do we have? 14. Stinkerish. We're too short. No, it's not like I'm too short. We have, we're, we have, we need two more. <laughs> so how did we make the green antimatter again? Rubidium. Um, let's see here. We've got 41. Let's go and get four. One of these days I'm going to remember where all this stuff is put, and then I'll change it all on myself. That's the way it goes. Okay, so let's run this through, and hopefully... There we go. No, no, that's... Tellarium stuff. Piggy, piggy, piggy. There. Um, how much is that? There we go. Nice. Okay, so tellurium will give us more netherrack. Cobblestone generator. It's going to give us a speedy hopper and some cobblestone. So I'm going to hit A to bookmark that. We'll come back to that in just a second. So with the fishing rod, we will have to go fishing to get fish, which makes sense, to be fair. Can we fish from here? I don't know if this is going to work or I know there was a maybe like in the breakout mod something somebody told me in playing that that the water needed to be too deep. So we might have to do that. We might have to dig ourselves a little bit of a pond here. Let's go ahead and let's see where would be a good spot for a fishing pond. Back in here, I'm opening up as I dig stuff out. Um, let's put a fishing pond right here. How do we want to line this up? That's going to be an odd, not odd, like strange, strange amount. Um, let's do this right here. If it'll let me click it. Okay. So that's too deep. Let's put our lava somewhere just in case we want to use it later. And we'll stay away from that because we know how things go. <laughs> All right. So from here. We'll do this, and if we can get one more, then we'll have an infinite water source down in there. There we go. So that and that. That fills that up. So then we'll do that and that. There we go. Now, will this let us fish? <gasps> oh, buddy. Come on now. We're trying to fish for fish. Are we going to have to dig out a giant lake now? <laughs> we might. Maybe you have to stand far enough away so you don't scare the fish. Is that what it is? Let's do this. Let's check the... Collect eight selenium moles. Gather nether... Gathering nether wart will likely be faster than fishing for more selenium. Are you kidding me? I've looked around all through the... Uh, the the stinking nether and I can't find any I can't find a fortress anywhere I guess if we built a uh, what do you call it if we built the hang glider that might actually help that was weird did you, oh, oh oh yes we got a fish we got a fish awesome one raw fish 
How much selenium did I need? Let's consult the manual. To make another wart for selenium, two comes from one fish in the chemical dissolver, and we need eight here, so we need four fish in total. You'll get in there, fish. Selenium. Now, how's selenium right there? Shouldn't it have continued that way? Selenium's next to last. But I don't think it's next to last on the list. Al al alchemy? Yeah, it's, it's somewhere... I don't see it. Here again, y'all can hit pause. You'll probably see it a whole lot quicker. And I started uh, putting a few things in there. Either I've miscounted some of the placements and things, or I may need a little bit more space. So that's why I've let this open for now, just in case we need to expand. So let's see here. I think for the most part, we're going to be stuck until I get three more fish. And I don't... Oh, oh that is so cool. You can see the, the fish swimming off even though there's not water there. That's crazy. But I guess we have to keep waiting until we see it like dart for the uh, for the little bobber. So maybe the area just needs to be bigger. Is that, oh, there we go. And there's a fish. And that's weird that it's not pulling it up out of the water. So let's see here. Is there anything else we can do real quick before we, uh, we call an episode? So we're trying to get selenium here. Selenium is going to help us make nether warts. Once we get some nether warts going, we can grow them, and then we'll be fine. We won't have to create any more. Now, I'm trying to remember. With the hang glider, you need leather. Leather comes from protein, right? And protein we can get. Can we get protein from nether wart? You can get it from carpets and string. Different meats, fish, feathers. Oh, man, if we could get ourselves a, a chicken going. So I may have to run around the nether and kill some more uh, zombie pigs. Or I may just need to collect a whole bunch more fish so that way we can get enough stuff. So I think this is going to be my lot in life for a little while, is sitting here fishing to get enough materials so that we can start moving forward, right? Right. What was the uh, cobblestone generator? Two buckets. Double compressed cobble and tellurium. Yep. Uh, did we make tellurium yet? I can't remember. It's only been this episode. Green antimatter. Yeah, we should have tellurium. Oh, stinkerish. <laughs> well, fun oh man. Maybe that'll grow to like uh, a build limit or something. That would be insane. So that's what I'm going to be doing is fishing and getting myself ready for next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, and you're not already subscribed, would you consider subscribing? And if you want to be notified whenever new episodes or new videos come out on the channel, go ahead and click the notification bell. No harm, no foul. If you don't want to, it's all good. But I'm going to sit here and fish, see if I can get enough of this stuff gathered up so I can be ready for next episode. And that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo!